Hey everyone, welcome to this week's video update for Friday, August 4th. Hope everybody had a good week of trading. Uh, let's take a quick look at the markets and then we'll jump into the trades and positions for the week. Starting with the S&P. So except for a tiny little close higher on Monday, uh, we had four, consecu uh, four consecutive down days and obviously today being the big one uh, because it was such a reversal. In fact, um, Look what volatility did. I mean, don't look now, but VIX is back above 17. Um, VIX was down about 8% at one point today on Friday, and it closed up 7%, so about a 15% swing uh, from low to high in VIX. So pumping some juice back into these options, which is, uh, is a welcome for us premium sellers. Uh, NASDAQ, same price action down as well. Same with the Russell down. And the Dow uh, down as well. Gold and silver both lower, although gold uh, had a little bit of a bounce today as kind of a opposite of the market. Uh, notes and bonds down as well, but big bounce today. And then the 10-year yield, which pushed all the way up to almost 4.2, uh, drew back down to a little above 4. Oil higher on the week. Natty gas down the first part of the week, up yesterday and today. Soybeans kind of chopping around uh, with a little bit of a continuation lower um, early in the week. Uh, wheat down, continuing from its down move from last week, and same with corn. Euro and the pound kind of chopping back and forth, and Bitcoin hanging around that $29,000 level. All right, so let's jump into our trades for the week, uh, starting with zero DTE. Uh, so nice work, uh, nice week for zero DTE, uh, almost 35,000 in booked profits for zero DTE just last week. Um, if I break this down, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to break this down just by power hour and then everything else. So this is all my zero DTE minus power hour. So just a little over 2,600 on these trades. Had an AM ratio. On Monday, booked a nice winner. A quiet lunch on Monday, booked a nice winner. Uh, AM ratio on Tuesday, small winner. Uh, a zero-day duck on Tuesday, that was a nice winner. Quiet lunch on Tuesday, that was a nice winner. Uh, did an AM ratio on Wednesday when we had that big sell-off, gapped open and kept going. That ended up being a loser. And then I also took a loss on a zero-day duck, which I should not have taken. It did not fit the criteria, but I thought I knew better, so I put on a duck. Uh, really, it didn't. It didn't uh, fit the. Uh, it didn't fit the criteria for entry, uh, and ended up taking a loss on that one. AM ratio on Thursday worked nicely. Uh, zero-day duck on Thursday worked nicely, and then today had a Rick that was a winner. Uh, in fact, so I, I got out of four of my five contracts at 30% on the first down move, and then it ripped up, went through my valley all the way to the upside, and I just uh, closed out the, the my last runner for a small profit on the upside. So I didn't hold it through the other down move, but um, still a nice winner. And then uh, lastly, quiet lunch today on Friday, which ended up being a wild lunch. <laughs> so I took a loss on that one. So that's the first loss on, on the quiet lunch in the short time that I've been trading. So that is everything except for power hour. And then if I just do power hour, show you what we did there. So on, um, let me refresh this. So total profits just from power hour over 32,000. Um, so Monday, had a loss on tranche one, but tranche two and three came through as winners. So booked a net of about 3,800 on Monday. On Tuesday, all three tranches were winners, uh, over 10,000 just that day. On Wednesday, tranche one was a loser, but tranche two and three came through. Uh, so let's see, that's nine. So about plus 5,000 on Wednesday. And then Thursday, tranche one was a loser, but tranche two and three, so nine minus four, about, about a $5,000 winner on Thursday. And then today for Power Hour, another
another nice winner. All three ended up being losers. Tranche two was a small winner, or excuse me, all, all three tranches were winners. Uh, tranche two was a small winner, but net net uh, over eight thousand for uh, for Power Hour today on Friday, and those still shown as open, but my longs will settle on Saturday morning, and so it'll be a, take a little bit off those whatever I paid for the longs. Uh, so nice week, nice nice week. All right, next uh, strategy, dynamic butterfly. So no no woodpeckers, but uh, time flies. So this is a class that I'm actually doing this Thursday. So mark your calendars, 3.30 p.m. this Thursday. I'm going to be doing a class on these time flies. So these weren't actually sent out to uh, as alerts yet because we haven't done the class yet. But I booked three winners on these. 120, 825, and 920, so a total of a little over $1,800 on those. So look forward to sharing that with you this Thursday. And then a red week on dynamic calendars. Took a, another sizable loss on a TGIF. Get all those checked. So took a $5,700 loss on a TGIF that we closed today, uh, closed yesterday at one DTE. Six sevens have been crushing it though, plus 2,000 on that six seven, uh, 625 on a three five, a uh, little single calendar scratched at a win on that NDX trade, $585 winner on a BNB, and &B. then on that big gap down Wednesday took a 540 loss on a BNB &B and a $2,200 loss on a 23MJ, and then had another $240 winner on a BNB. &B. We've currently got a TGIF, a 5.7, and a 3.6 on. So let me show you those. So on our TGIF, uh, put this on earlier in the day when, when volatility was, was really down. And then, of course, the market moved down and volatility pumped up. So we're up a little bit on that, but it has pushed into the lower end of our range. So we will uh, <clears throat> deal with that on Monday. And then on the 3.6, now this is the 5.7. So we just put this on near the close. So not much has changed on that one. And then um, my 3.6 is this one here. So we're up a tiny bit of money, but still pretty centered. So the 3.6 will take off first thing Monday morning, and the 5.7 will manage uh, just as we talk about in the class. All right, so that's the dynamic calendars. Let's move on to... NTT. Let me uncheck all of these. Oh, first, sorry, Iron Ducks. So just opened one new duck. No closed trades this week. So let's go to our Ducky Ducks. We've got one in Rut, which has a 817 or 818 expiration in the AM cycle. Price is right here. So in good shape on that one. In SPX, we've got this one here, which expires on the 8th. So hopefully price can kind of stay in this area and we have a chance to book a max profit duck head on that one. And then on our other duck, this one is pushed into the duck head too, but we've got till 822 on this one. So we got a little bit more time, so. Going to need a uh, price to kind of simmer down there uh, to, uh, to profit on that one. And then, so that's the one we just opened this week. And so that's it on the ducks. NTT, Navigation Trend Trading. So not too many trades uh, plus sixteen hundred and actually this one um, this one is closed that P and L is correct booked over twenty four hundred dollars on soybeans I gotta double check why that's still showing is open <clears throat> but that one is closed uh, scratch little scratch winner in EEM 
$370 loss on M2K short. Or no, that was that was long. Yeah. Uh, and then a $460 loser on Disney. Um, still long gold and short Netflix. And then lastly, our options selling and hedgehogs. So took a winner out of MES on a short strangle, plus 382.50. Uh, this short strangle in oil, it's still open. In fact, uh, I'll show you all the open ones on the platform. Uh, took a small loss on an ES hedgehog and a small loss on an Apple hedgehog. All the others are open, so let's go take a look at those. Starting with 6E. Got a short strangle in 6E. We've rolled down calls a couple times on this, but it's bounced back. Uh, not quite to center, but we're in good shape on that one. Uh, CL, <clears throat> excuse me. CL, we've got a couple positions. We have a hedgehog, which has an 817 expiration. Got a little bit of profit going on that one. And then we've got a short strangle where price is pushed up here. So we need to get out of it. We'll, we would hit our, we've, we've rolled our puts up three times on this and collected over $1,500 in credit. If we can get out, if we get a little bit of a down move in oil next week, and we can get out of this thing for two bucks, currently trading at 260. If we can get out at $2, we'll hit our profit target of 50% of initial credit. Uh, ES, we've got a hedgehog. Uh, price is hanging out right here, so we've got we've got a chance if price continues lower to keep moving into our sweet spot if we can get some uh, continued down move, and then obviously depending on how close we are to expiration, we'll determine our level of profit on that one. We still have until about the 17th or 18th before we would consider taking that one off. You can see we we'll generate some decent profits if that happens. Big if but in good shape on that one. In gold, we've got a reverse hedgehog. And it's just kind of hanging out right here. Hopefully we want it to start climbing as we get closer to expiration on that. Uh, MES, we've still got a short strangle here. We have not adjusted this one. We're up a little bit, pretty well centered on that one. We put on a new hedgehog in NQ today. Price is right here, so nothing to do on that. ZS, we've got a short strangle in ZS. We've adjusted this one a couple times. Price is right here. We're actually we're up money on this one after adjustments, but not quite to our profit target. IWM, we've got a hedgehog. Price is right here. QQQ, we've got a. Oh yeah, we already we already closed this one out for a profit. We're, we were just holding this as kind of a lottery. This one will expire today. And then the others are, uh, we got our ducks. And then lastly, in VXX, we've got a volatility contraction play. When volatility was contracting and VIX was down eight, we had a nice little profit going. And then volatility spiked and it pushed back up. So we're not too far off from, from where we put this one on. All right, so that is it, my friends. Uh, remember, Thursday's the class. Uh, we'll be streaming live. In fact, let me grab the live stream calendar. So next week is the 7th. So I will be live streaming in the morning for Zero DTE. Chad will be live streaming on Tuesday for our other day trading strategies. Wednesday, I will be streaming live for Zero DTE in the morning. And then Thursday and Friday in the morning, Chad will be streaming for the others. And then we'll be streaming live for Power Hour every day. All right. So that is it, my friends. Take care. Have a good weekend. Talk to you next week.